Don't jump off the fucking map. Come on. Nice. Come on. I told Let's you go. guys the grenade. I got there. an exotic. The grenade. <laughs> it's out the He's map. out the map. <laughs> you can actually jump there. I got the big horn. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna see chat then fun. Uh, did you link it? Yeah, I didn't even check the roll. Where did you link it? I don't see it. Mine chat. Can chat, scroll up. No, uh, it's very good. All right, so I'm actually quite tired and exhausted, but I'm actually super excited to record this video though. Because as you can see on the screen today, we did some legendaries. We, we did two out of three, so Capitol and Roosevelt, and tomorrow we're gonna do the third one. So my friend the Fryko was super lucky and he actually got the exotic assault rifle Big Horn to drop. And I want to give a big shout out to Fryko for hooking up some footage for this gun so I can show it up to you guys. So to get the big horn, you can only get it from uh, the legendary strongholds right now. So Roosevelt on legendary and uh, big capital or capital building and also district union arena on legendary difficulty, which which is way harder than heroic. It's a uh, black tusk, but they are actually in white uniforms. So the drop chance for it is 5% according to data mines. But I also heard that there's a 10% chance for exotics to drop there. So there could be even lower. But it's a pretty low chance for it to drop. So that's how you get it. So the big horn. Let's actually, let's actually just inspect it. It looks pretty good. See the horn there. And as you can probably tell it's an AR AUG. But it have a 12x. And this side scope as well. And a pretty damn long barrel. So I'm pretty sure you can figure out maybe what it does. So if we look at the talent, it's Big Game Hunter. When scoped, switches to semi-automatic fire mode, dealing 450 weapon damage with each shot. We're gonna look through quickly the mods here before I show that. But headshot damage on the mag. And stability on the grip. And accuracy on the barrel. And the scope have a fire select scope. So check in the talent there. This is the normal AUG though. And show the recoil there. Kicks a, l a lot on the first bullets. But it isn't that hard to control though. But with the 12x or 8x or what it is. You can press tab. And you go into scope mode. And now it becomes a rifle. That hits pretty damn hard. Shoots pretty fast. Let's not compensate for the recoil. It just goes up. So you can literally swap between the modes. So it gives you a lot of utility for the gun, right? Which is pretty damn cool. And unique, right? He got pretty lucky with the roll though. I actually am pretty jelly here to be honest. Almost got her like he's what? 0.5 health damage away and 1% AR and a few crit damage. That's pretty pretty nice. And if we compare it to, compare it to base damage. Let me enable base damage here. You can do it there. Uh, base damage. 46 right? So it's pretty high base damage. I checked this earlier. Quick. So 46.1k with 800 RPM. If we shake a AK, which only have 600 RPM though, it got 53.6. So sure, it got a little bit less there. But here's when it gets interesting. When you shake a G36 and a P4, they both have 44.7k and 750 RPM. Big Horn have 800 but it have 46k. So even higher base damage and higher RPM. Savage Wolverine, 790 RPM, but 43k base damage, right? So it type 3k more base damage. So pretty high base damage gun for its RPM. So I think this makes this gun kind of like... Kind of this updates Eagle Bearer, I would say, right? I mean, it's the hardest one to get right now before the raid. Before the, the second raid. So it needs to be good. And I can tell you after doing the Legendary, 
it wasn't that fun to play, right? I will have videos with legendary footage though, but I thought this video, we're just gonna have the big horn gameplay, right? So yeah, I think it's time to actually go and test this uh, one out. So the build is basically the crit build I had before with another mask that he have. So yeah. But when you get used to it though, and you're not super tired like I am right now, it's gonna be nice. Of course, I, I don't have the feeling that this gun is as strong as the Eagle Bear. Like the Eagle Bear was just insane. Like it just had everything. This gun doesn't have everything though. It have an AR and a rifle and pretty strong damage, right? But... Yeah. This might be a bit rough. I don't really see what I'm looking at. I wonder what's the difference is with a headshot and a body shot. Since it's an AR, right? I don't know if you get more headshot damage when you scope in. Let's assume not. 170k, right? Can we hit him in the body? 107. Okay, there's quite a lot of headshot damage there, actually. Did not expect that. Can we put damage numbers here? Easier to tell. Decoider. And this is gonna take some time. <laughs> so 1.4. Wait, a body shot. 800. And then we swap to AR. Boom. I feel like it melts like crazy as an AR. Like the strongest thing should be the, the rifle though. But I guess I have to spam it more. I just never play with the actual scopes. I guess that's a bit awkward. But we got our backup, backup here with the JTF. So now it's easy mode. Actually like... Uh, the friendly NPCs are really strong compared to at 30. Like actually in the expansion, they are really strong. Like I've seen they solo people multiple times. 500k. It does have some kick though, but as I said, like you get used to it and you're not super exhausted, you're gonna have a better time. I'm a bit surprised about uh, the headshot damage though when you go into rifle mode. Okay, we gotta back off here. Decoy, if you watched the video yesterday, like it's really, really, really good skill. I feel like I should play a bit more aggressive, but kind of want to get used of use of the rifle mode for the gun. Not gonna bother with the loot right now. We we'll check that later. Let's go with the AR, I guess. Yeah, the kick for the first bullet on the AUG though, it's pretty crazy. We cannot man fight like that. Hopefully that decoy just takes the aggro. But of course, like this build is for LMGs as well. Like the gloves they have. They have like literally the same build as me. Oh, the health damage though. Oh, that was pretty good melt though. Like I really, like I missed AR so much. It feels just really good to use this just as the AR. LMGs are nice though, but ARs are just, I don't know. Feels really good to play. Well, now we have armor kits. We can do this a bit faster. I mean, it, it shreds like the AR did. It really shreds. I 
I think I vid you. Need a better position. I'm just too tired for this, to be honest. Shoot decoy, please. Don't hit the fire. Oh, shit, I don't have that. I look at the barrel, dude. I don't know, I'm not that impressed with the rifle. Even though I feel like that is what should be the best. But the AR, it shreds. I mean, rifle is good too. I'm missing a lot of my shots though. 2.7, damn. Yeah, I want to kind of destroy that one. And now I have some NPCs that can just tank for me. This will be easier. We do a decoy and we should be fine. I mean, okay, the rifle is good too, as long as you hit. And if I don't get hit there, I have Vigi, right? But do really good damage. I can swap a bit to AR. Boss in the back. What is a weak point there? Actually, what does he have? Okay, I have glass cannon. We're seeing bleeding. I don't know. Okay, it felt pretty good. When they pushed here and had a good pos position, I could just shoot at them. Actually, really nice. Oh, I'm really jelly, actually. I mean, we're doing a legendary tomorrow as well on stream, the last one, and then we will get the full set as well. I'm pretty sure you wonder what the outfit is. You get that from the legendary missions, right? You have a look at the apparel. It looks pretty good, white. You also get it for the gear too. You get that from... You get a few apparels from each uh, legendary stronghold. But yeah, I mean, that felt pretty good in the end, I gotta say. Overall, I think so far with the what I've seen, it seems pretty damn good. But it's not a must-have gun, though. Like, you will do fine without it. But having the gun... I mean, I really want the gun, so I really want to get it. But it's not as good as the Eagle Bear is my general feeling in the beginning. But Eagle was super, super, super duper strong, right? Nothing came close to it. Like, are you kidding me? Are you actually spawning here? I just want to get to the supply room. This video is going to be so long. I'd like to cut it a bit. But yeah, super, super fun gun to play though. And it's a bit different recoil as well with AUG, so it's really interesting to play. And I really missed to play Assault Rifle, so yeah. Let's see what we get here. Some purples, I mean, it's, yeah. why not some purples? Yeah, some more pu pu purples. Can we get a few more? Okay. okay, this is the loot we get from Heroic. Nothing of interest there. But anyway, that's gonna end this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yeah, I will have a lot of more videos on the way. So subscribe for more Division 2 content. And yeah, maybe see you guys on the stream tomorrow for Legendaries. If not, there will be legendary gameplay videos. They're pretty long though, but if you guys want to see how it is. Anyway, have a nice day and yeah, see you in the next video.